The Star-Studded Slippers Once upon a time, there lived a wicked and loathsome queen named Margaret. She was mean and would treat her royal subjects miserably. The soup is absolutely cold. Guards, send him to the dungeons immediately. But, but your majesty, it has only been out for a minute. The poor cook was dragged out of the dining room without fault. The most loyal of all her subjects was Octavius. He was wicked and evil just like his queen. The people of her queendom did not complain about the way she treated them. They went on with their lives, eating their bread crusts and doing their jobs. One morning, as two girls were on their way to the fountain, they saw a beautiful pair of slippers lying in the middle of the town square. It was studded with stars and shone like no slippers that anyone had ever laid eyes on. Oh my, those slippers are so beautiful! They are splendid! You can see constellations and galaxies swirling around in those stars. Hmm, I wonder where these slippers came from. They surely must be a gift from the star fairies. The girls soon went about to tell their friends about the star-studded slippers. And within no time, the word had spread across the queendom. When Octavius heard about these magical slippers, he thought, I shall tell Queen Margaret about these slippers, and then she will reward me. <laughs> Octavius went up to the queen. He told her about the magical slippers and how beautiful they were. Hearing this, Queen Margaret was elated and wanted to gain possession of the slippers at once. Go and get me those slippers right this instant, Octavius. I'm afraid I can't, Your Majesty. <gasps> Did you just say can't to me? How dare you refuse your queen? Guards, have him locked in the dungeons. Just as the guards caught Octavius to dump into the dingy little dungeon, he squealed and said, No, no, my queen. The slippers can't be caught. Wait. It is said that only the worthy will be able to attain the slippers. And when it is passed over to another person, they too will become worthy of the magical slippers. Well, clearly no one is more worthy than I, your queen. I shall go and get these slippers right away. Take him to the dungeon, I said. The queen called for her carriage and set out to go to the town square. A parade of royal escorts led the carriage. They waved their flags as they announced the arrival of their queen at the town square. All the people from various parts of the town were present at the town square around the star-studded slippers to see what would happen when the queen arrived. As the carriage reached the town square, the royal escorts rolled out a red carpet and stood on either side. The head escort took a step ahead. Ladies and gentlemen of Zamania, I present to you Her Royal Highness, Queen Margaret. The carriage door opened and out stepped Queen Margaret waving to her people. But all their eyes were transfixed on the slippers. Do they not know that I am here? Just as Queen was about to raise havoc among the people for not acknowledging her presence, she saw the star-studded slippers in the center of the square. Ah, oh, those are the most fabulous pair of slippers I have ever seen in my life. The Queen was mesmerized by the slippers and walked so fast that she practically ran to them. Thank you all for coming down to witness this grand moment as I put on these slippers, for I know that as soon as my feet touch them, I shall become the most attractive ruler, envied by all the kingdoms known to man. So the queen stepped towards the slippers, knocked off her gold heels, and lifted her foot to place them in the majestic slippers. Just as she was about to place her foot in, the star-studded slipper just slid to the side, causing the wicked queen to lose her balance and fall. 
The people held their laughter as they giggled softly under their breath. What are you laughing at? The queen propped back up and gave the slippers another try. You see, I am very tired of traveling all the way here. That is why I am not able to wear these slippers. The queen took another shot at the slippers, and the slippers moved away once again. The crowd stood surprised to see that their queen was not able to wear the slippers and started to whisper amongst themselves. It seems that our queen is not worthy. I knew it. Only someone with a soul as bright as sunbeams and kind as moondrops can be deemed worthy of such slippers made from stardust. The queen was enraged to find that she was not able to attain the slippers and went back to the palace. Just as Queen Margaret sat down on her throne, worried and infuriated, one of her royal subjects came up to her saying that Octavius knew a way to attain the slippers. Bring him to me right now. I want to hear what he has to say. Octavius was brought back from the dungeon before the queen. Tell me, Octavius, what can I do to get those beautiful slippers of starshine? There is a princess from the land of Nokovia. She is said to be the most beautiful and rich, and she can surely be worthy of these slippers. Do you mean to tell me that I should just let someone else take away my slippers? Oh, n no, your majesty. We will ask her to give it to you once she wears them, and then you shall become the most beautiful in all the land. I see. Send a messenger to her castle and tell the princess that I will be awaiting her arrival. The next day, the princess of Nakovia arrived and went to the town square where the slippers were. She tried to wear the slippers, but all was in vain. The magical slippers evaded her feet as well. Useless! You have caused no good. Those slippers are not mine yet. Uh, forgive me, your majesty. I shall find a solution right away. Octavius thought for a while and then decided to go to the old hermitess in the forest. He reached the hermitess who told him about a shepherd's daughter named Alice. Alice is said to be the kindest person in the entire nation, with a soul as bright as sunbeams and as kind as moondrops can be. Well, that is exactly who I have been searching for. Octavius thanked the hermitess and went on to find the young shepherdess. When he finally found her, he narrated everything to her. Alice agreed to help the queen. Together, they went to the town square. On seeing the slippers, Alice was very skeptical. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. They look like they're too big to fit me. All the people stood around eagerly waiting for Alice to wear the mystical slippers. As she lifted her foot, the star-studded slipper drew closer to her foot and shrunk down to her size perfectly. The shepherdess is worthy! Just as Alice put on the slippers, she was surrounded with magic sparkles of stardust. Wonderful! Absolutely marvelous! Now all that's left is for you to give me the shoes. Fast! Alice nodded and happily handed over the slippers to the queen. Just as Queen Margaret wore the slippers, the magical sparkles of stardust surrounded her and the shepherdess. The queen was now wearing the shepherdess's clothes and Alice found herself wearing the queen's royal attire. What have you done? I command you to reverse this at once. You are not the queen anymore. Guards, send the poor woman to the dungeons immediately. Traitor! How dare you try to send me to the dungeons? No, 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 wait! You will pay for this, Octavius! Wait! There's no need to send anyone anywhere. I I'm sure there must be a way out of this. I do not want to be a queen. Everyone was shocked at this. 
they did not think of Alice to be so kind and selfless. Just then, the hermitess, who also happened to be there, spoke. The slippers have bound themselves to Alice, who is worthy. Even though she is not wearing them, they will only listen to her command. In order to reverse the spell and return her queendom back, you will have to forgive Queen Margaret of all the bad deeds and ill behavior towards her queendom. Alice, being a kind and humble person, forgave the queen. Oh, who am I to forgive Her Majesty? But if that is what it is going to take to reverse the spell, then yes, I forgive you, queen, with all my heart. As soon as she said that, the two were surrounded with magical stardust, and Queen Margaret was back as the queen in her attire. The star-studded slippers, however, went back to Alice. Thank you so much, oh kind maiden. Oh, I have realized all the wrong that I did. I now know that it is important to be humble and kind. I do not wish for these slippers anymore. I'd work towards being a worthy queen for my people. Everybody was happy to hear this. Long live Queen Margaret! Long live Queen Margaret! Long live Queen Margaret! Queen Margaret was grateful and gave all the people of her queendom a pair of shoes and ample food to feed all the families and the entire queendom of Zemania lived happily ever after. Meanwhile, Alice gave back the star-studded slippers and they were kept at the town square 